Hey, welcome to Diode Press. I'm Graham. It's been a little while since I posted a new video, but I'm really happy to be back in the swing of things. Today's video started off as a procrastination from another project that I should be working on. I have a lot of soldering to do for an animatronic project that I'm working on. And my studio is fairly well ventilated, but the smoke from soldering always rises right into my face. I figured with an old computer fan, my 3D printer, and some activated charcoal filters, I could do something about it. I'm not going to do a full walkthrough of the Fusion 360 model, but it's a fairly simple, you know, blocky vintage style robot. If you're interested in seeing more of the modeling process, let me know and maybe I can do that in future videos. I broke the model up into a few pieces for easy printing without needing much support material. The fan's going to fit in the mouth and the filter material can be put in behind that with an exit path for the air out of the back. I'm using Simplify 3D to slice this, but I've had really good results with Cura as well. The plastic I'm using is Matter Hacker's Pro PLA filament, and you can find links to all the materials and tools, as well as the model if you'd like to download it and print it yourself. Each part took a few hours to print. I'm using regular super glue to attach the two halves. The pins and holes in my model make for really easy alignment. And I did a tiny bit of sanding on the face to make sure they fit smoothly. I've been using this acrylic plastic putty to smooth out most of the 3D printing projects before I prime and sand. It's odor free and air drying, which is much easier to work with in an enclosed room compared to Bondo or other body fillers. This model was printed with fairly thick layers and fast speeds. And I'm knocking down the ridges with rough sandpaper before applying the filler. After I filled all the model, I sanded it smooth and gave it a coat of high build primer. This project was just a distraction from what I should be working on, so I didn't spend a ton of time smoothing and painting. But repeating these steps will give a mirror smooth finish. To attach the ears, you can easily just glue them on, but I designed them to screw on with M3 bolts, and drilling and tapping the holes makes them easy to remove if I decide to clean up the paint or add weathering to this later on. The paint's just red gloss spray paint, and a few coats did the job. Originally, I planned on removing the lid to turn on the fan, but I liked the look of the switch on top, so I drilled a hole through the cap to fit the switch in there. Obviously, it'd look nicer if I modeled it in, But remember, I'm just procrastinating at this point. I soldered up the wiring and hot glued the switch so it wouldn't come out. The filter material is a replacement pad for a solder fume extractor, which I figured would be the best thing to start with. I cut down a few pieces to fit the fan motor opening and packed a couple more down behind it. If you put in too many, it'll block the airflow completely, but two or three seemed fine. A little test to make sure it's wired correctly and it's good to go. This is a 12 volt fan being powered by a 9 volt battery inside, but it's more than enough for what I need. And feel free to print the model and modify it however you want. My absolute favorite part of 3D modeling and 3D printing is being able to have an idea on a Monday and have a finished project in my hand on a Tuesday. But the real test is to see if it actually works to catch the smoke. Like I mentioned, I'll have links to all the materials I'm using in the description box, as well as a link to the 3D models. Be sure to check out the Diode Press website if you're looking for gifts for the holidays and to support the channel, and I'll be back soon with a new video. Thanks! Thanks for watching! To keep up with the videos when they're posted, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support this channel, you can check out the Diode Press Patreon page, where I post behind the scenes photos, as well as other patron rewards. Thanks!